Rahim. My name is Shahzeb Khan. I read in class 2, level 2, law class level 2. I am from CSC Academy. My teacher name is Sir Hamid. Today I will, why want to teach you should and how to. First definition, they are used to advise someone to make him realize for his responsibilities and duties. It's mean you are advising one. It is your duty, it is your responsibility. You have to, you have to perform this. There are three major points. If you know these three major points, so you will recognize it. It is shit or another and you will make your sentence. The first one is identification. If you know the identification, identification is chahiye. If you know this, so you will recognize it. It is should. If you don't know about identification of should, you say that it is should or you don't know about it is should or uh, other, uh, any or more things. The third, the second one is first uh, word. It in model auxiliary word we always use first form of the word. The third one is formula. How we you how we make a sentence? If you know the formula, how where should we put subject? Where should we put object? And where should we put verb and model auxiliary word? I will make an uh, example. For example, you should read a book, or you should you should read a book, or you ought to read a book. It means they both sentences give us same meaning. But only should is common. Most of the people use should and how to they don't use. The second topic which we will discuss about should, uh, there should plus be. It is, is, it is used to express presence and absence. There are two major points. If you know these two major points, so you will, uh, you will make your sentence and prove your uh, grammar's uh, the first one is identification. Hona chahiye. If you know this identification, if you do not, if you do, uh, do not differentiate between between these two identifications, so it will be wrong, and there will be many problems in in front of uh, in front of you. The first one, and the second one is formula. If you know the formula, you will you will make a sentence. There should be. Uh, students in the class. It means there should be. Otherwise, I will not teach. I will not go there. It means that there should not plus, uh, there should be not be students in the class. Ha should there be students in the class?